Happy Monday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about the fact that God only does miracles through people. How God does miracles. We were talking about miracles last week, and there were so many requests to keep up this series on the miracle working power of God. This is something very few people will know anything about anymore. Amen. So we're going to continue that today. We're going to talk about how God does miracles through people, only through people. This is good stuff. Hey, I want to bless our country today before we start. The United States needs to be blessed. There's a lot going on, folks. A lot going on in Canada. A lot going on here. What's going on in Canada could very well be coming here. It will come here. It's just a matter of when. And now we bless our country. The priest has the authority to bless this country. Read uh, Numbers chapter 6. God gave the priest the authority to bless the nation. Nobody's blessing this country except me. I'm doing it. I'm the only one that I know of. And I bless our country right now in the name of Jesus, the wonderful name of Jesus. I bless the United States of America. I say to her and to all these people, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Our country is blessed. Make no mistake about it. We're going to be fine because we're blessed. Today's blessing day. Today is the day you call to receive your blessing. Amen. And people do. They call all day long. We got a lot going on today, but I'm going to be in the car quite a bit today and I can take phone calls all day long. So praise God after nine o'clock in the morning, always call after nine o'clock in the morning because uh, early in the morning is when we do all of our stuff. We get all everything ready. We do all of our posting. We do all of our, everything is, all of our mailings get ready. We, we do everything pretty much by nine o'clock in the morning. And so then I can take phone calls. Praise God. And I'll take phone calls all day long. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart. I'm getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I am a good looking. I am beautiful. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Everything always works out for me. Make that confession with us every day. Your life will change. Your life will conform to your words. That's why we say that. I don't necessarily say all that for you. I do it for me because I need that. Amen. I'm just like you are. I need this too. Glory to God, huh? Hey, make sure you call today when you do your offerings and donations. A lot of you people did your offerings and donations over the weekend and didn't call. For the blessing, I want your offerings and donations to be blessed with the word for word blessing that we just spoke over our country. That same blessing needs to be spoken over your offerings and donations. And it has to be done word for word. So many people tithe all their lives and go broke. Maybe your offerings and donations aren't being blessed. They need to be. Glory to God. Hey, I want to talk to you today about why God's miracle working power has to come through people. This is coming from my book, How to Get a Miracle. I'm going to order some more of these books so we can do a a mail out with these. Maybe we'll do it this next weekend. But God's miracle working power, this power comes upon people. It comes upon people. Now, when Acts 10.38 is the key to this, it says how God, Peter was telling the people about Jesus. He said how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. 
who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Jesus emptied himself when he left heaven and he came down here and was born of a woman. He grew up as a normal person. He wasn't really normal though. He was actually perfect in all of his ways, but he had left his power there. He, he, didn't, he didn't show up with his power, but he received power. When he was anointed, he came up out of the river after being baptized and the Holy Spirit came down and lit upon him. That's where the Holy, that's where the power comes from. It comes from the Holy Spirit. Acts 1.8 says, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. This power is for evangelism. That's what the power for. And the power on Jesus was actually for evangelism too. It's the same thing. The way Jesus' life worked is the same way our life should work. We should receive this same power as Jesus received. I did. Now there's a special anointing. There is a gift of miracles and a gift of healing. And some people have this. But anybody can operate in the power of God. With All you have to do is be, be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's very important. To have the Holy Spirit come upon you, came upon me. After I got saved and <clears throat> filled with the Holy Spirit, I was sitting in a used car lot in Tomahawk, Wisconsin. And many of you know this story. And I was reading... Uh, Mark 16, verse 17. These signs, the word signs means miracles. These miracles shall come, uh, th this, these signs shall come upon you. Shall, these signs shall follow. These miracles shall follow those people who have faith in my name. It takes faith in the name of Jesus to make miracles happen. I mean a high level of faith. Now we all believe in the name of Jesus. And we all use the name of Jesus when we pray and everything. But it takes an incredible, incredibly high level of faith in the name of Jesus to make miracles happen. Well, I was sitting up there reading that and all of a sudden something happened to me. Something and I didn't know, I didn't even know what it was. All of a sudden I had this desire, this incredible desire to get people saved and healed. That's all I knew. And that same day, God worked a miracle through me. Guy had a blown out knee. I put my hand on his shoulder. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that knee to be healed. Well, Within an hour, his torn out knee was totally healed. It, it was swollen up like this. Everything went down to normal in an hour. And I went, whoa, God had done a miracle through me. I'm telling you what, folks, my life has never been the same. Never. That was an absolute, you know how, when you were born again, that was a life-changing experience. That was absolutely a life-changing experience. Most of you know what I'm talking about because you've experienced that. Well, I got filled with the Holy Spirit. That was a life-changing experience. But when God did that first miracle through me, and I thought, you know what? I can do this. If I can do it with that guy, I can do it with anybody. So I started doing it. Well, the next thing you know, Tomahawk, Wisconsin was seeing miracles. There was miracles all over the place. Some of the people up in Tomahawk, Wisconsin were chasing all over the country seeking miracles with Benny Hinn's ministry. He was doing miracles. They didn't realize there was miracles going on right there. Right under their nose. 
and they didn't even know it. And people from, people have gotten sick and didn't realize that power was there. That power is still with me. People from my hometown of Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, they get sick and die. They know me. They know there's miracles going on. They don't even call me. If they called me, they'd get healed. Glory to God. Because this is a miracle ministry. It's one of the very few in the country. One of the very few. I always say, if people knew what was going on in this church building, you can see this church building right here, because this is where I'm at right now. If people knew what was going on inside this church building, they would cut a hole in the roof to get in. They would line up down the street to get in in the mornings on Sunday. If they knew. They don't know. They should know. I'm, out, I'm telling everybody. They don't have ears to hear. They don't have ears to hear. God did miracles through Paul. Acts chapter 19. God did miracles through Stephen. Acts what, seven or eight? Huh? God did a miracle through Eli, the priest, when Hannah was too old to have a baby. God did miracles through Elijah and Elisha, both. He always does miracles through people. God will never, ever do a miracle on his own apart from a person making it happen. Somebody has to make a miracle happen. He always does miracles through people. He brought Israel back from captivity through the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel is the one who spoke to the dry bones and caused Israel to come back to life. That was God's power. But that miracle working power always operates through another person. Now you can make it happen. You can cause it to come upon yourself. Saturday, I talked about that. How I caused a miracle to come upon me. So you can cause that to happen. But if you can't do that, you can get it through somebody else. There's people who can work miracles. Kenneth Copeland can work miracles. Creflo Dollar can work miracles. There's a few other people who can work miracles. Benny Hinn can work miracles. I mean, these people can do that. Pat Robertson has worked miracles. Get a hold of them. Go to their meetings. If you can't get in, if you can't get a hold of them, call me. I'm the only one who does miracles in this country that I know of who's available on the phone. And I'll do it for you right over the phone. I love to get God's people healed. And God will do financial miracles as quick as he will do a healing miracle. Amen. And he always does it through a person. Always. Glory to God. Today's blessing day. That blessing of the Lord that comes upon you. That's a huge miracle, folks. That's a life-changing miracle. I'll make it happen for you. Call me today. I'll speak that blessing over you. It has to be spoken by a person. God said to Abraham, I will bless you. And then here comes Melchizedek, the priest, and he spoke it and caused it to happen. He caused the blessing to come over Abraham that God promised. Melchizedek is one who made it happen. Has to be a person. You call me today for your blessing, especially when you do your offerings and donations, and I will make miracles come over you because that's how God does it.